In this video, I'm going to show you how you can breathe life into all those static MIDI drum loops that may be laying around on your hard drive. Just fire up Jamsticks, load a kit of your choice, and go to the song page. Click the style label and select import. The importer supports MIDI files as well as any saved Jamsticks 1, 2, or 3 grooves that you may have. I'm going to select a simple MIDI groove that comes with ToonTrack's Easy Drummer. Make sure to select the proper input format. In this case, it's obviously Easy Drummer. If you cannot find the format of your MIDI clip in this list, then just select General MIDI. And that's it. We have now instructed Jamsticks to use the data from this MIDI clip instead of generating notes based on a Jamstick style. Let's play this for a few bars. As you can hear, it's a steady reproduction of the MIDI data. You can make it more realistic by letting a Jamsticks drummer add field processing, idiosyncrasies and accents to it. I'm going to pick Chad for this job. Notice how he shanks the heavy hi-hat notes, adds some kicks, throws in some funkier feel, and also varies timing and power of each note. If you check the repetition fill box, you can now hear the groove with uh, some fills thrown in. If you change the song power, you can hear Chad alter the groove on the fly to match the dynamics that you are dictating. All of that is still based on your simple MIDI clip. Now let's say you want to use the song builder with this groove to get a complete song in seconds. You can do that by saving your imported groove to a style preset. I'm going to call this Easy D Groove. Now let's go to the song builder, select the import style and choose our new Easy Drummer preset. We'll keep Chad on drumming duty with the standard funk kit. I will now type in a uh, crazy song structure like an intro, a verse, chorus, middle eight, breakdown and ending. It's just to show how it works. Hit create song and that's that. Chad will now interpret the single MIDI groove with fills at the right time, proper changes like right instead of higher during the chorus, half time during the middle eight and so forth. Let's listen in a bit. It's really easy, very powerful, and you can get from a one bar MIDI group to a lively complete drum track virtually in seconds. Let me show you how to take this to the next level. Let's say you like the kick snare pattern of a MIDI clip you own, but would rather use the hi-hat behavior of a Jamstick style. Here's how to do that. Just as before, you load the MIDI clip into the import style. Let it compose one bar and then stop. Right click on the right hand label and clear all right hand notes. Now click turn groove into style here in the bar editor menu and you now have a groove importer loaded with your saved groove. Let's play it. You can hear the MIDI groove now without hi-hats. Let's click on the brain menu and select extract from other style. I'm going to pick the uh, standard rock in the toolbox folder, which has a quite decent selection of hi-hat grooves. I'm highlighting the hi-hat element and uh, click OK. We now have a style that mixes your MIDI kick snare pattern with the Jamstick's Hyatt element. Let me get Chad back on the set and play around with some of the Hyatt options we now have. I hope you can see now the endless possibilities that Jamsticks will afford you when it comes to spicing up those MIDI group files that you already own. I will see you in the next tutorial. Until then, take care and happy drumming.